Kelsey Plum, fresh off her All-Star Game MVP, is joining us here on NBA Today. Kelsey, thank you so much for spending a little bit of time with us. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. What of an intro. So yeah. See, now, and now we get to get into it a little bit. And we're going to start with your journey so that our audience knows exactly how special that MVP must have been for you. Tore your Achilles in 2020. You won gold at the 2023 on three Olympics. You won 2021 sixth woman of the year. You were named an all-star, won the aforementioned all-star MVP, and now you're the leading candidate for, candidate for league MVP. That's incredible. What has this comeback journey been like for you? Oh man, um, I just have to give glory to God. I think for me, um, I've been on this journey, like you said, um, but this, uh, this process that I've been on, um, I've just enjoyed, I've enjoyed this time and this moment. And I think that's why it's so special because I'm just very present. Uh, I think that, you know, I've hit some bumps and ups and downs along the way, but it's just built character and resilience. And, um, you know, I just, I'm in a different place these days. That's great. I, I love hearing that. And I also love watching you while you advocate about making the WNBA more easily accessible for fans. Are there any major changes or even subtle changes that you would like to see come to fruition here? Absolutely. I mean, first of all, I think access, you know, we understand that the product is phenomenal. Uh, we have some of the most amazing athletes in the world. And um, it's hard to get to a games. I know the other day, um, my mom was texting me during halftime, like, hey, I can't find the game. Can mm. you help me? And it's my mom. That's someone that's super invested in me and in our team. So I can't imagine for the casual fan uh, just wanting to, you know, catch a game. Uh, we have to make it one click away. Yeah. A couple more clicks. We're not going to get that uh, interaction that we need. And so I think that the easier access is going to be able to do that. I think we can certainly play a role in helping with that. And I appreciate you coming on here and allowing us to have this space to, to share that. Um, one idea that was floated by Arash Markazi, and is, it's garnered a little bit of support, most notably from LeBron James, is holding the All-Star Game where you play in Vegas while Summer League is going on. What do you think of that proposal? I mean, I'm a little biased, obviously, because uh, <laughs> I'm in Vegas. But I think it would be a tremendous idea. I mean, we understand that, you know, summer in basketball is Las Vegas. You know, we have summer league. There's a bunch of AAU tournaments, boys and girls, coaches meet up there. Uh, a lot of teams do training camp out there. And so I think why not have a basketball mecca in Vegas every summer highlighting the best female athletes in the world? Um, I mean, I can't think of a better opportunity. And I know the aces, um, specifically Mark Davis, would support that heavily. So. I mean, listen, I'm in. Not that my vote counts, but I'm in. <laughs> see, well, if you're in, that's part of it. I, I, I was able to, to see the aces and see everybody uh, out when we were in Vegas just for a moment, walking in and seeing the fans that you all have. It's the most incredible environment I've ever seen. And I know that a lot of our friends at ESPN, Cassie, she was sitting courtside for one of your games. She's like, this is insane. This is absolutely amazing. So let's talk about your squad. Um, apart from the success this year, it seems like year in and year out, you all have just, just this genuine bond. How have you been able to come together on the court, and how important is that in translating to wins here? It's the people. Um, the people make the difference, and I think that uh, the relationships we have, uh, you're seeing it on the court, but off the court, I think we've honestly been almost just as famous in terms of going viral, viral about some of the videos that we've done. We make a lot of fun of each other. Uh, you have to have thick skin if you're gonna be on this team because anyone can catch any type of joke at any type of time. So um, it's a ton of fun. There's never a moment of silence. There's always laughter. And that's what you want. You wanna be able to enjoy your experience while uh, while hooping. And it's not bad to win some games too. Yeah, it, not bad. Yeah, it's, it's not bad. Um, lastly though, uh, Kelsey, you dedicated your All-Star Game performance to, to Brittany Griner. How do you and the rest of the league continue to advocate for her freedom? We obviously saw the photo today come out of her holding uh, the photo of a bunch of folks at All-Star all wearing her number. That's one of our own. You know, I, I feel like the WNBA um, is so tight and so unique because we are a unified front. Uh, that's what makes us different than other leagues. And uh, we stick together. And there was never a question that anyone in that locker room or the opposing locker room was going to wear anything other than Brittany's jersey. Mm. Um, and it's just cool because, like, people, they gave us the option, and it was never a question. So I just think that speaks to uh, who our league is. And she's our sister, and we want her home. And uh, we're going to continue to vocalize that and do anything that we can do uh, to make sure that 
Brittany's where she needs to be. Um, I don't know if you've ever spent time around Brittany, but she's one of the most amazing humans um, you've ever met. And so I think that um, it's just heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking for us and we need her back. Absolutely. Um, Monica McNutt, my colleague and friend, is also here. She's a big supporter of the W game and she would like to uh, ask you a little something. Monica? Uh, hey, Kels. Hey, girl. <laughs> What's up, baby? How you doing? <laughs> Um, I just have this one for you. We know you're a shooter shooter, but what about your modeling these days? Uh, are you as good a model as you are a scorer, <laughs> huh, friend? Listen, I, I think I approach it the same way. You just got to go in with no conscience. There's no such thing as a bad <laughs> shot. Um, <laughs> and it Looks paid like off. Did. <laughs> Thank you. No, I had so much fun. Uh, I'm actually wearing it right now, GSTQ, um, God Save the Queen. It's by Danny Garcia. Mm. Um, she. She's unbelievable, and I think that's, you know, we talk about more female empowerment, and um, this brand is for women, by women, and I'm proud to be an ambassador, and um, I'm going to continue to do what I do, and that's wear it with fierceness and play on the court in the same way. For women Love and it. by women, and that's how we need to continue to uplift this league. We cannot wait to watch you continue to play this season. Kelsey, thank you so much for spending a little bit of time with us here on NBA Today. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.